Hey there, it's Ben Hyde for BCC Hardware, and once again we're uh, shooting another video of some kind of some networking gear. Uh, today we're taking a look at the ASUS Store uh, AS5004T NAS. This is a kind of a mainstream uh, NAS. It, it's definitely way up above the entry level stuff we've seen from other people, but it's certainly not a crazy high-end system. So we're going to just take you around the interface a little bit here today. Uh, instead of taking billions of screenshots of every little feature, we're just going to kind of run through some of the, the really nifty stuff. So right off the bat, of course, we're going to take you through the settings where you've got your, uh, you know, just general administration stuff. I mean, where do you want the, the default port to be at? and that sort of thing uh, as well as network and for this actually what we did here um, we did set up adaptive load balancing which means that we're using both uh, gigabit ethernet ports to you know push bandwidth and push data through you know a load balance so we can actually really maximize um, the dual gigabit network interfaces on this and so we can see upwards of 200 megabytes per second read speed off of this it's that incredible. So I mean you've got your general settings, you've got your LAN settings, again this is where we you know specified our, our interface stuff and setting up the static IP so we can find it on the network. Uh, Wi-Fi, it does support a USB Wi-Fi dongle which is pretty darn handy. It also supports built-in VPN stuff so if you've got a, a VPN you can punch those settings in, connect right directly to your NAS instead of you know NAT uh, behind a router and that sort of thing. Um, different regional options include, um, you know, date and time, uh, time zones, whether you want to, to sync from a server or not. And this is where we've got some hardware stuff here. Um, some of the other devices with the display, you can control the brightness of the display, but this actually does allow you to control the brightness of the LEDs on the front uh, and you know, decide if you want to have certain LEDs even lit at night through scheduling. So that's kind of cool. Um, energy control, of course, you can tell it when to sleep or not. Power, um, you know, what kind of power settings you're going to have here, basic stuff, as well as fan control. That you can actually make it really quiet at the expense of a little extra heat, or you can have it high speed if it's going to be tucked away in a closet and you just want to keep your drives as cool as possible. One thing we didn't set up for the short term here but is awesome is this notification area where you can actually go through and add um, an email address that you want to um, maybe use and and have it you know send emails if there is some sort of an issue uh, there so that's kind of cool um, I guess yeah you can receive notifications you can also do push notifications through there uh, an app directly so you don't have to have email it can actually push directly to your phone which is pretty cool um, and then of course you've got your ADM Defender uh, basically this is your built-in built-in uh, antivirus and that sort of thing and of course your your ADM which is the the, the, the version of Linux they're using the, the software interface you can uh, set that to update one thing that's cool too is your uh, recycle bin you have a network recycle bin on this which is not not new but it, it's definitely handy to enable uh, as well so just other couple of things just you know how to have it you know through UPnP figure out the ports automatically push that sort of stuff um, and, and that but what is cool about this interface over top of some other companies is the fact that this whole web browser here basically becomes a desktop so we can we can minimize this and we see there that this page actually just gets pushed to the taskbar which is at the top and then we can go ahead and open the activity monitor so we can we can open this activity monitor see what each of our uh, CPU cores is doing what kind of a buffer um, memory use we got going on here um, network status of course right now it's it's not doing anything um, and also you can see that you know for, for this testing we don't have a lot of data on here but we do have a total of uh, be six terabytes unformatted in a RAID 5 uh, setup. So that's the process is running and then we'll just minimize that as well. Keep that up there for now. Um, other features, you know, which is pretty standard for these NASAs is a uh, JavaScript based um, files, uh, file explorer. And you, you'll see that this is, is really fast as we sit there and open different things. Um, you know, things open really fast on this, which is which is nice. Uh, you know, there's there's no lag, no no major issues with 
file explorer at all. <sighs> what next? Uh, let's go to talk about services. Um, different services or server types we can do here. Um, of course, with on a Windows network, you're going to want to enable uh, Windows File Service, right? So that way we can drag and drop files to the device over the network, and it does support Active Directory or or uh, domain. If you've got a domain at your work, this actually will work for that as well. Uh, fully supports Mac uh, and NF, uh, NFS, as well as your FTP server. It even supports WebDAV, which is kind of getting outdated a little bit, but they're make sure that people still use WebDAV. This will work for you as well. And uh, outside of the web interface, it actually is a full functioning uh, web server. Uh, that you can host, I mean, your entire sites, whether it's uh, WordPress or Joomla or lots of stuff. And of course, you will need to have SQL running, which has that built in as well. Uh, terminal, if you want to access it by SSH, RSync, TFTP, and more. Um, I guess one other thing we'll, we'll talk about here, well, a couple things we'll talk about, I guess, is the fact, of course, we're not going to run through, but it does support Xbox Media Center as well as a lot of other things, which we will look at here in their ASUS, uh, ASUS Store. Uh, App Central. So these are apps that we have installed. You can choose to run them or not just by simply flipping in the switch. So now you've got their surveillance center running. Um, I mean, it, it's that simple. And as far as their apps go, um, they, they've got lots of apps. I mean, whether you're looking for, you know, web hosting things, project management, uh, social networking, uh, games. I mean, it actually has built-in emulators, so you can run emulators off this thing and more. Built-in Minecraft. I mean, it, it's unbelievable the apps that are available just by one-click install. Super cool stuff. Um, storage manager. This kind of is just, I guess, what you're going to be setting up at one point. And of course, you are able to to pull a disk on the fly um, and then replace it with a larger disk and, and recreate it to to expand your your uh, storage volume, it, it supports, I mean, everything that it should support, it, it just does support. Uh, you know, you can replace the disks in Volume 1 with larger ones, so we, we go to that. And, I mean, it, there's so many, so many things that are so simple, and I really love the way their interface is laid out. Um, it's not complicated, it's not convoluted, it, it just works, it, it really does. Um, yeah, it, it is a bit te heavy on the text base, but for a user that knows where he wants to look for things, I mean, things are exactly where they should be. So, and it sounds good and uh, looks good are some of their apps for, for playing music because this device does have a HDMI port as well as an audio out port. And it is made to be not just stuffed in a closet uh, running high-speed fans, but it actually is made to be used, hooked next to your TV, and it is your whole entertainment center uh, plug a wireless keyboard mouse directly into it, <laughs> and it works right there for navigating XBMC, um, their download center, uh, sounds good, looks good, everything that they got to do is available, super simple, right on the interface. So that's just a super fast blast through the Easy Store AS5004T, and uh, make sure you check out the rest of the review over at bcchardware.com. Thanks for watching this, I'm Benjamin Hyde, and uh, again, make sure you check out the review over at bcchardware.com.